arriving at a Fastnet station in 2022. The Mustang is leaving. Hmm, that Audi doesn't need a fast charge because it's gonna connect to the 50 kilowatt. I'm installing the Bonnet app even though I have the American Play Store so you cannot officially download it. This is Bonnet. All the charge points you need at one fixed fee. Even though they say they are UK's biggest charging networks, they also work outside of the UK and it could be a game changer for you depending on where you get your fast charging. So with Bonnet you can use a couple of discount codes. One of them is first charge and it gets you your first charge for free. So I'm here at Fastnet and I can just charge for free because I activated the first charge code. It shows me the chargers. Now I need to look up the number of the Alpitronic plug. So that's 36107. Yeah, loopt hoor. Ja. So 36107. I'm gonna start the charge. Ooh, but I still need to do some setup. So for 15 a month, you can get 30, 50 kilowatt hours. And you can get the one month free. Pay zero pounds. Activate it. So back to the activation 36107. Start the charge. I guess I should. Oh, no. I should confirm. Please wait. Let's see. I don't see any sign on the charger yet. Waiting for session to start. So now it starts flashing. Don't plug in first because it will think that the charger is busy. And as you can see, these plugs are so heavy that you need to push them a little bit before they lock. Only now did it lock, so that took a while. Let's check the app. It says the session has started. And over here we can also see that it has started. Boom. We're charging for free at Fastnet. I left my door open, that wasn't my smartest moment. Let's change that. Hmm. Charging is slow again. Hmm, wait a second. How fast is that Audi charging? We're splitting power, of course. Huh. This is a weird power split. We're both doing 90 kilowatt speed when I would expect both vehicles to do more would there be a power issue here is the Jaguar going to charge at Fastnet very strange this is interesting because ah no the Jaguar is just coming for a snack so the, the bonnet app doesn't know that we have started to charge I wonder how easy it would be, be to stop the charge. Hmm. Interesting. The last time I visited the Hakala, these were the only chargers you could use. But.
times are changing in the Netherlands because look what Shell built over there some fast chargers next to the road aha uh -huh. so it came late but the bonnet app thinks I have been charging for 10 seconds so that is interesting because we have been charging for three minutes already but for some reason this machine doesn't want to give us a lot of power I remember reading a label on these chargers that said they were only delivering 100 kilowatts kaboom so that is strange because it says that over here it says nothing on the Alpitronic charger but this one seems limited as well to something like 200 kilowatts in total or even less 19 minutes till 80 percent so the Audi is already at 85 percent nice so I wish I had more time but I don't so my first free charging session uh, will end within 10 minutes as you can see for some reason my session seems locked to about 90 kilowatts so maybe both sessions were locked to that which is interesting because that doesn't fit any of the specifications of this charger as far as I'm aware let's try the bonnet app so I'm pressing stop charging boom and it worked well that was uh, better than expected people told me all kinds of things about the app and I didn't even have the chance to try it myself without a vehicle uh, yet your session has stopped thank you but the counter is still going I don't know what to think of that ending session It was a good day, Hyundai. Thank you for all the successful charging. Today's consumption around 200 watt hours per kilometer for an average speed of around 110.